Okay, let's look at this November 2014 question um, from the end of your paper from the department. Now this question, I'm hoping you're all going to watch this because this question was not well designed. The first part of this question was not well designed. So let's have a look here. Two point charges of plus two microcoulombs and plus three microcoulombs are placed a distance of 0 0,2 meters apart. P is a point on the line joining the two charges, a distance of x meters from the three microcoulomb charge, such that the net electrical field at point P is zero. So that says define the term electrical field at a point in words. So this is normally electrical field strength. So electrical field strength at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point. So both of the definitions in the memo are not the exam guidelines definition. This is the um, exam guidelines definition. But this electrical field at a point is usually electrical field strength at a point. So now let's have a look at this question. Now remember here, electrical field is a vector. Okay, so if they're telling you the net electrical field at a point is zero. Okay, if you find a question like this, first of all, before we start discussing this, if you find a question like this, just try and start substituting into formulas if you don't understand what's happening. Along the way, you're going to get part of the seven marks. Okay, so if you didn't know what to do, try and do as much as you can and you'll get as many part marks as you can. So this question was very confusing, okay, if you try and do it in reality. So if you want to calculate the net electrical field, this is telling you, okay, that the electrical field E from the two microcoulomb, can we write microcoulomb? Yes, we can write microcoulomb. Okay, so the electrical field from the 2 microcoulomb plus the electrical field from the 3 microcoulomb, okay, these two fields, when we add them together because they are vectors, the net electrical field is zero, okay, so this is the basis of this question, that you know that the electrical field from the 2 microcoulomb plus the electrical field from the 3 microcoulomb is zero. So you can start forming equations using this E equals KQ um, over R squared. So if you take this E for the 2 microcoulomb, okay, you're going to form the equation. We're going to form the equation with E equals KQ. Please write the formula. Okay, you see I'm not writing the formula. Never mind. Okay, for the 2 microcoulomb is going to be E and then... The E equals K times Q, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, and this is going to be over R squared. Okay, but now we're sitting with a problem here with our R squared. Okay, over R squared. We're sitting with a problem here. We actually don't know what R is. So we have to form R as an expression. So if this whole distance is 0, 0,2 and this distance is x, then this distance here is going to be 0, 0,2 minus x all squared. Okay? So you would have set this up um, nicely with the thing as a fraction. Okay, then you come and you do the same thing for um, the 3 microcoulomb charge. So it's 9 times 10 to the 9, which is K, times 3 times 10 to the minus 6, because it's a, a whatchamacallit, a microcoulomb. And then this is divided by the distance X, which will be raised to the power 2. Okay, so we now have these two expressions. And then from here, okay, what you can do is you can say this expression plus that expression equals zero. And now I'm going to show you the memo to show you where the problem comes in because it's a lot easier to understand with the fractions. But so long as you understand how I formed this expression here, okay, I've used e equals kq over r squared, and because the net electrical field is zero, the 2 coulomb 1 and the 3 coulomb 1 are going to equal zero. So here's the memo, okay, let me move the memo up here. And make it a bit smaller so that we can see it. 
Okay, so if you have a look here, the first mark would have been for knowing that the two electrostatic charges added together are going to get to zero. So what they did in the memo here is they formed these equations. So if you had have done this and this, you would have got four marks, okay, for forming these two correctly, knowing this is zero comma two minus x and this one is x. So what happens here is this is plus, this is minus, you take it over the, the zero. And what they did here is they said, okay, I've got a 9 times 10 to the 9 on the left, a 9 times 10 to the 9 on the right. This is multiplying by 10 to the negative 6 on the left and multiplying by 10 to the negative 6 on the right. So everything simplifies down into this expression here. 2 over 0 comma 2 minus x squared equals 3 over x squared. So this if you go and cross multiply here and work it out, you're going to end up with a quadratic equation because you have to expand this into a quadratic and then this thing doesn't factorize and it's like highly frustrating. Okay, so what they did is they said, let's just square root everything. And this memo is actually wrong because what they've done is they've square rooted everything here. They square rooted one, um, the two to 1 comma 414, they square root of the 3 to 1 comma 732, and then this squared is supposed to be scratched off, and this squared is supposed to be scratched off, because the square root of this is going to be 0 comma 2 minus x. Now this is not good maths practice, please do not go do this in maths, but this is how they solved it. So if you then work this out, you end up with like terms, you'll end up with 0 comma 414x equals whatever this is multiplied by 0 comma 2 1 minus x and then you can work out that x is 0 comma 1 1 meters but when you got to this point and this was in last year's grade 11 exam it was very horrible to watch everybody not being able to figure out what to do from here okay so if you don't use that quadratic formula they just took the cheat of finding a square root of these two and that's how they got to the 0, 0,11 and this thing in the memo is wrong. Okay, but even if you get stuck, this question is a lesson in, you can get five of the seven marks. Look here, one, two, three, four, five of the seven marks for having realized that the, if you add the two together, they're going to equal zero and then for substituting in and then there's only the last marks over here. So let that be a lesson to you. If you don't know what's going on, trust the formula, substitute into the formula, and just go from there. But, stupid question. Okay, now let's look at the second part of this. A 4 microcoulomb charge is now placed the distance of 0, 0,1 meters from the 3 microcoulomb charge as shown in the sketch. Calculate the magnitude of the electro electrostatic force experienced by the 3 microcoulomb charge due to the presence of the two other charges. Okay, so let's first have a look here, positive, 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 negative. So what is this 2 microcoulomb charge going to do to the 3 microcoulomb charge? It is going to push it in this direction, okay? There's going to be repulsion, so I'm making you a primitive force diagram here. Now what is going to happen here? This 3 microcoulomb charge is positive and this one is negative. There's going to be attraction yes so where's my little arrow thingy gone there's my little arrow thingy so this one is going to want to go down okay so what we're going to have to do in this question is I'm going to move this into a head to tail vector diagram so that we can have a look at it and then the final resultant so where is this three microcoulomb um, thingy going to go it is going to go over here. Okay, whoops. Okay, that is where my resultant is going to be. It just wants the magnitude, so we don't need to worry about the direction. But this is where my resultant thing is going to be. This 2 microcoulomb is going to repel it to the right. This 4 microcoulomb is going to suck it downwards because they're attracted. There's my resultant going to be. So now we just need to work out the numbers and obviously you can tell we're going to end up using Pythagoras over here. So let's set our work out neatly. Okay, so we want the two. Where's the, we don't have a two. Okay, so the two microcoulomb charge on the three microcoulomb. This is the one we're going to work out first. Okay, what is this force? 
we're going to work it out in newtons and we're going to use f equals k q1 q2 over r squared because we're finding force so this is 9 times 10 to the power of 9 where's my mouse gone okay so k q1 we've got 3 times 10 to the negative 6 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6 okay all over what is our distance here oh look so nice they put it in meters that was kind of them okay so now put this in your calculator remembering that this is the two micro coulomb on the three micro coulomb okay I get something like 1,35 newtons and this is going to be a repulsion to the right yes okay so we found the 2 micro coulomb on the 3 micro coulomb now we want to find the 4 micro coulomb the minus 4 micro coulomb on the plus 3 micro coulomb so we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to write out the formula f equals kq1 q2 over r squared write out the formula every time please people and then we're going to put the values in 9 times 10 to the 9 3 times 10 to the negative 6 this is 4 and the distance is comma 1 okay so then you clap that into your calculator you hope your teacher knows what she's doing with her calculator So I hope you're doing this with your calculator while you wait for me. I've got 10,8 newtons and this is going to be downwards. Okay, so now we've got to the right, this is 1,35 and this is 10,8 down. So now we're going to use Pythagoras to find the, um, the, the total force. Okay, so let's call it F net okay so we're going to have to find the square root yes must i put my nice little square root sign in again insert it's the square root of so a squared plus b squared equals c squared so it's going to be one comma the square root of one comma three five squared plus ten comma eight squared remember those are all under the hood there okay I can't draw the whole hood there because it's just I can but it's complicated to do it but so this is the cheat way so if you square root this value I end up with 10 comma 88 newtons now it just said the magnitude so we don't really need to give a direction but we know it's going to be down and to the right. And that's the end of this question.